Diffusion 360. Uh, we are looking at um, a tutorial here for a box with a drawer. Uh, this has two of them. I'm just going to show you how to make one and that, um, and then you can apply that to making m multiple boxes if you want. Uh, there is an example of this in the design hub that you can take a look at, but really all it is is two boxes with no lid, with no top, and then one box that uh, has um, uh, the front, so it's like a box on its side, uh, a box with no top on its side. It's pretty simple to make. Uh, let me open this up and click on my origins. Um, there's many ways to make the, uh, the box itself. I'm just going to create a box on the bottom. I'm going to make it uh, 10 by 10 by 10 by 5. I'm going to bring it up bring it up five as well, maybe four. I'm a little shorter box, so I'm going to hit enter. Now that I got my box, I need to make it hollow, so I'm going to click on the shell button and click on the body that I want to shell. I'm going to make this five millimeters thickness. Now I'm going to extrude back this part so that I can see the inside of the box. I'm going to click on the front extrude back 0.5, there's my inside of my box. So I need to make the drawer now. So I'm going to do that using a sketch because I want the drawer needs to be about a millimeter smaller on each side, on this side, and this side, and this side, and this side, so that it's going to slide in and out pretty well, pretty um, easily. So I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to create it on the front. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And this is where the offset sketch really helps because I can just click on this rectangle and it well, I automatically put it at 0.1 centimeters, which is one millimeter. That's fine. You could go a little bit bigger, but I find um, a half a millimeter, it's still kind of sticky. You'd have to do a little bit of um, uh, sanding so that it moves more smoothly. But you should practice this and see what, what comes out. So I'm going to finish the sketch. Now I have that inner sketch. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I know that I'm clicking on this one and not the one between, because there is actually one between. So I want to extrude, and I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to back up a little bit so I can kind of see. And I'm going to, I could come out and make the drawer, or I can go in and make the drawer. So I have to be careful because there's actually um, five millimeters on the back, so I think it would be 4.5, is that right? No, it's cutting through. Let's just make it four, minus four. Oops. Let's just say minus four. Is it okay? Uh-oh, what did I do? I need to click down on my timeline on the extrude button, and I can see that I clicked the join button. Of course I don't want the join button. I want new body. Hit OK. And I think, I think that looks right. Is there another one here? Right, let me check that again. Oh, see, then again, I can see that it took this outer one, so it says profile 2. I'm going to de-click that. I'm just going to click this one and click OK, and there I can see. It does look like a lot of space. Maybe maybe we could do, a, maybe instead of a millimeter, maybe do a half a millimeter on each side. So I can correct that very easily by clicking on the sketch I created. Mm -hmm. um, I could trim the sketch. I just trim the one I made. Boom. 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 So I'm going to actually make this adjustment right now as I'm talking to you. Click on the the offset, and instead of 0.1, I'm going to do 0 0.05. You can always just type one millimeter or 0.5 millimeter, and it'll it'll know what you're talking about. In Fusion 360, hit OK or finish sketch, and let's try to click on this. This is actually interesting. A warning has come up, and it said, "Hey, you didn't extrude with a sketch that's no longer there. That sketch that I deleted." It knows there's a problem, so I'm going to double click on it, 
and it says right there missing profiles. So I'm going to click on the profile I want now, which is the new one, which is only a half a millimeter on each side. I'm going to click OK, and I've made that adjustment, and now it is a half a millimeter on each side. I'm going to turn off my the box. I'm going to turn that off, I'm going to, and I'm going to call this the drawer. Okay. So this is the drawer, just the drawer. I need to cut down from the top of it. A couple of millimeters, I think. Oh no, I need to shell it first. So let's go ahead and shell the body. You have to click over here to select the body. And we're gonna make this drawer a little thinner. I'm gonna make it two millimeters, okay? So now it's a two millimeter wall all inside because the drawer should be a little thinner than the outer box. And we're going to just push down from the top, minus, two millimeters, and I should see the inside of the box. There we go. I can put the box there. That looks basically what I want to do. I could probably give a little bit extra room, and then I could create a handle of, of any kind that I want to put on there. I could use any of the tools or extrude. Um, okay, I'll show you how to, no, I'm not gonna, this is, this is enough. Uh, practice just making a drawer, put it in an appendix, plan, do, review. It might come in handy now or maybe in a future, a future lesson. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.